what it do what's up hey peeps it's me crystal and today you're watching crystal with a k <laughs> you know what it is hey all right you guys so i'm bringing it back with a i'm not bringing it back i'm actually bringing it around with another with a new video the unpopular opinions book tag now um i just realized okay i filmed this i filmed this and the, the lighting was not the truth so i just decided to refilm it and um i just realized that i didn't show you guys some of these books honestly you guys i can't really show you any of these books because actually i can show you one of these books that's it i hope you guys understand but um yeah please enjoy this please enjoy this i hope you guys enjoyed this this um video like, comment, and subscribe. Follow my Snapchat, QuirkyLove underscore 19. Follow my Instagram, forever, uh, forever. Wow. It's 44 under, underscore K Nelly. Let's do this video. Enjoy. Question one. <laughs> A book or series you didn't like? Okay, y'all. Some of y'all might get upset. Some of y'all be like, girl, I agree. Or, you a boy. Um, the Twilight series. Now, I have seen all the movies more than ten times. Although I do really, I really do not like it at all. I don't like the most. I don't like the movies. Yet I watched them. I know, kind of confusing, but it's okay. Anyways, I didn't finish the first book, but I got like maybe like okay. If you put it into like, like a uh, fourth, I probably got like one fourth through the whole book. Okay, number two, a popular book or series that you, that everybody seems to hate, which you love. Um, this is not a series, but it, it's an author. It's Clive Clive Custler books. I'm gonna show you this book because I do have one of his books. I'm gonna get some more of his books later on because I really love like the designs he puts on his books and um he does a lot of fantasy and action-packed books this is one of his books it's called devil's gate like i mean you guys come on look at the the um the um orange accents he puts all over his books and everything like it's really nice and, the, and the, um i just love the way his covers look and everything and he his um his um plots and stuff are really really good so I enjoy his books next question question three a love triangle where the main character ends up with the person you didn't want them to end up with now this is not a book nor a series this is a movie because I couldn't think of a book or a series that that happened with because most of the time I'm pretty okay with it it's Pocahontas 2 now for y'all who have not not watch Pocahontas 2. Y'all should probably skip a minute. Just about a minute. Um, if you have, you can stay right here and, and listen to me talk about this real quick. Um, I think his name was Jack, but his best friend, I can't remember his best friend's name. But in the second movie, she ends up with his best friend. And I'm just like, this is scandalous. This is like, kind of, kind of, not hoish, because I think hoish is like when you sleep with different men i don't know if she slept with his best friend but all i know is that she got with his best friend and in the end of the in the end in the end of the movie she's kissing his best friend on this boat i'm like bro i wanted to grab her head and just just wrangle it you know i'm just like i'm going with his best friend i'm like yeah no no you know i can't i just sometimes i just can't even watch that movie because i just I just want to think about just like wringing her head. I don't know what wringing means, but y'all, y'all know. Y'all feel me. Hopefully some of y'all understand how I'm feeling. Question four. A popular book genre that you hardly reach for. Now this might sound a little bit confusing or weird, but okay, it's romance. Now, if y'all, some of y'all who do not know a lot about me, I like romance movies. I'm not a sucker for romance movies. Not a sucker, but a sap. 
sorry. I'm not a sap for romance movies, but I like to watch them because, I don't know, they just, they just really just put me in my feelings, you know? But anyway, but it's kind of like really weird because I don't really grab toward, gravitate towards um, romance books. I just really don't. Now, would I enjoy to read some? Yes. Ha like, most of the books that I read, they implement romance in their books, but it, the whole purpose of the book, like the genre, isn't romance. Most of the books I read are like horror, gory, blood and guts, mystery type stuff, fantasy, you know, that, that realm. So, I don't gravitate towards the romance genre so much as the romance in movies or romance movies. So yeah. If you feel me, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on that question. Okay, question five. A popular or beloved character that you do not like. Now, if any of y'all have heard or even read that Diver Divergent series, you'll, you'll probably know who Max is. He's in the first book, Divergent, and he's one of the leaders um, in the Dauntless faction. Like, when you get, okay, in, in the beginning of the book, um, her, she changes her name to, to Trish, and um, they're like, he, 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 introduces, he introduces himself, he's like, I'm Max, I'm one of the leaders in this faction, this, I'm one of the leaders, like, he's helping to um, train the, these people, Trish is one of the people, anyway, I don't really like Max, his whole, his whole persona, and everything about him I just really was not about like he was just kind of rude but at the same time he was really mysterious and I'm like okay interesting so yeah all right number six that's not seven and six <laughs> number six a popular author you, you can't seem to get into I don't know if any of you guys know whose author is because I mean I haven't heard anybody really speak about him but his name is Scott Odell now he does like not like short stories but like books that are like less than 200 pages like paperback books and stuff like that um i can't remember the name but it has something to do with dolphins and basically the cover of the book is like of she's literally like sitting there and she's like she's like the mountain um if you guys know what i'm talking about comment down below also i just had i just had thought if you guys want me to start doing book reviews, comment down below because I can do them. Um, I'm not the type to read fast, but um, if you guys want me to do book reviews, let me know because I will be happy to do those. Um, number, now we're on number seven. I mean, seven. Lord, let me, help me out. I can count, I promise. Okay, number seven. A book trope that you are tired of seeing. Now, y'all. I'm pretty sure I have a book trope, but I really can't think of one. I was writing these questions out because I got them online, and I really couldn't even think of a book trope. They gave examples of like all the questions, but I they said a love triangle, so I'm just gonna go with a love triangle because I think about it. I'm like, well, yeah, like they have like love triangles in a lot of books, and usually it's like either a guy with two girls or, or a girl with two guys, and the girl would usually end up with a guy you either want or don't want, and usually like one guy would be like the good guy and the other guy would be the bad guy and usually the girl would end up with the bad guy or it's the guy with the two girls and like one girl is like I don't know she could be helpless and the other girl is like this like awesome girl or whatever and then she ends he ends up with, with the helpless girl I'm just naming out stuff because honestly I'm gonna go with the, the love triangle because I can't really think of another book trope right now let's keep this let's continue number eight I'm talking fast I'm sorry um I just don't want these videos to be too long so I'm just trying to um get this done um number eight a popular series you have no interest in reading Twilight series I know I mentioned that in, in um um question one but honestly I really don't think I'm ever gonna read those books but it's kind of ironic because I have like I think I have Twilight and like New Moon I mean, maybe one day when I'm like 80 and I have nothing else to do with my life and I'm retired. I don't know. I'll pull it out. But who knows? Lastly, question nine. Nine. Okay. 
The saying goes, a book is better than the movie, but what movie or TV show adaptation do you prefer um, than a book? That would be The Fault in Our Stars. When I first filmed this, I went into a little bit of rant, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to say that The Fault in Our Stars, the movie, they really, they visually, because obviously when you're reading a book, you can visualize it in your head, but in a movie, they visually give it to you eye to eye. Now, in the movie The Fall of Our Stars, they really perfected, um, I can't remember their names, I, I know it's kind of sad, but anyways, they perfected their, you, you're not, you'll know who I'm talking about if you've read the book in the movie, you've seen the movie, you read the book, but they perfected their relationship so good because they really showed how they grew, you know, and how he accepted her and she accepted him for their faults and, neg and everything that was negative about themselves. But at the same time, they supported each other past their their diseases. And I, I just thought it was so beautiful and so elegant, elegantly put together. Okay, um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. I really, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, comment any, um, video suggestions that you guys would like me to do. Um, um, yeah, like, I'm just trying to do new new videos. I just did a story time, so if you guys want to go um, watch that, um, comment on it or anything, like it, subscribe, share it, I don't mind. I mean, I, I, I really don't. I don't, you know, do what you want to do, it's cool. But have a good day, have a blessed day, and um, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys later, God bless.